Hello and welcome back to another Frabby Farm episode. Today we are starting it off slow. We were very busy this last weekend. Hold on a sec. Chicken. <laughs> On today's episode, we are going to talk about the pressures of social media. Honestly, it's a lot. <laughs> I uh, seem to be keeping it all very well together and staying on top of everything, but I do feel like I neglect YouTube a lot more than I do social media. I put a lot of work into social media and unfortunately I have learned that it is like trying to keep the attention of a toddler who has no delayed gratification. Like I put in a lot of work on social media, on the reels and stuff that I post and there's a very core group of people and you're probably watching this right now and actually watches all of our content and watches it through all the way but there is a other side of it where our demographics and our engagement are very low because I don't have something constantly flashing and changing on the screen to keep the attention of people and I'm okay with that like I'm okay with growing slow because the point is not to grow, it's literally to bring as many people as we can on this fun journey. So I figured I would share a little bit of that because we do get a lot of comments with people asking how we keep up with everything. So I figured I would give you a couple tips on how to keep, she's just going to keep going. <laughs> Anyways, so I figured I would give you a couple tips on how we stay on top of all of our tasks for the day and how we keep our schedule pretty organized so that we don't get super overwhelmed with everything going on. She can leave. <laughs> to start off, we definitely make sure we prioritize a lot of the stuff that has to do with farming. Animals come first and their welfare comes first. So if there is the choice between posting something and the animals, we will always choose the animals. We're pretty good about prioritizing that and making sure that everybody here on our mini farm is okay. And then from the overflow of that is where I create content and where I actually post a lot of stuff. I am starting to realize that I really do prefer posting on YouTube. <laughs> that sounds terrible and there's gonna be, um, it'll be a shock for people that only watch us on social media because I really do want to put as much energy into YouTube as I do social media because I really do love creating beautiful moments that make you feel like you're in the present moment with us and make it feel like you actually feel encouraged enough to actually pursue whatever dreams and passions you have because it's not actually that hard to do a lot you just have to stay very organized so to give you one tip on how we stay on top of everything is reminder app so there's a couple other apps that you can download that usually have like checklists or different types of um, reminders and stuff i just personally use the regular apple reminder app and it is linked to frank and my account together so we share every single list so for example we have a list of the farmers market and what we need to bring to the farmers market we have a list of what we need for processing day and then we have our everyday list and we usually prioritize it by what needs to be done first and then as we check them off the lower stuff moves up in priority and whenever we add anything we just add it to the bottom and we continuously check up on that. So usually when we have our reminder app and we are using it consecutively we stay pretty level-headed and actually stay on top of all the projects we have going on. It does get chaotic around here if we forget to use the reminder app so we just have to remind each other every once in a while to actually write everything down. I'm gonna clip in a video that we made for Instagram and I had to cut it down very short and add all kinds of stuff to keep people, um, to keep people's attention span on it. So what would have been a four day video, like a video with four days worth of content ended up being about three minutes long. And so I'm gonna insert that right now just so that you guys can actually see our behind the scenes if you are not on social media. And then I'll get right back to you as soon as it's done. 
This is, is dries four times faster than cotton. But if it dries four times faster than cotton, that means whatever it is, it's definitely not cotton. Either. He's reading that and telling me that. I look over here and find the tag. We just discovered a beautiful option for this outfit. He's gonna hate it. He's gonna hate it. Stick his butt in first. <laughs> okay, now we need, to, we need to put your butt this way, buddy. He's too big. No, he's got. He's way too big. <laughs> Ralph, you just gotta get your hands right. He's like stress yawn. Okay, there, stay right there, okay? You got it? <laughs> oh, he's too big. I thought it was gonna be, I was gonna fall and die, but no. We finally got this guy home. I also found a random John Deere tractor, so we brought him back. So he's just gonna live on the shelf now. I also found a random Liberty Bell. That's, that was cute. We came out to get some supplies for my mom for Mother's Day and we stopped at a yard sale and we bought a sewing machine. She's out and ready to go get filled up. Yes! They're like, this is crazy! temperature for 12 hours. So fun facts about that video, it was pretty much our entire weekend. I took a break from posting it in the moment and then I spent two hours this morning editing it and refining it and knocking it down to try to get it down to a minute and a half and I couldn't get it any shorter than three minutes without losing the actual value of what we were doing. So as you can see, it's kind of one of those things where I'm like fighting back and forth because I really do like social media and the fact that I can open the opportunity to become friends with people really fast on there. But I've also learned that it doesn't create lasting relationships if you don't put a lot of work into actually having conversations with each other. So that is kind of where I'm at right now. I am obviously free to make my own choice on social media and with posting. And I think 
that I am really leaning towards putting as much work as I do in fast-paced social media posts. I want to invest a lot more time into just YouTube versus the very fast-paced, quick engaging content, if that makes sense. Wow, these planes come around a lot. Oh, <laughs> my bad. That's flight for life right there. <laughs> so anyways, I just wanted to get you guys up to speed on what we got going on. This week we are moving birds to pasture. You will see that on Frabby Farms Friday episode and you will see us moving chicks to the pasture and cleaning up a little bit more. We have to put a couple more covers on our raised beds before June and all the hailstorms that are gonna start coming. And then we have a couple of raised beds that we have to actually get rid of. So we're gonna be keeping three rows because we had to eliminate one row because of the brooders. And so these two will actually be either used for some other purpose or we'll just break them down and use the pieces that we can for other projects. So that is really fun. We have a couple other projects going on besides moving um, our birds to pasture. We have a few things that we want to get done behind the scenes. I want to create more stuff for the farmer's market, but I haven't had time because we have been literally fighting the weather around here to get these guys out. This is the second sunny day that we've had, but I literally got sunburned yesterday. I never sunburn, and I think because we haven't actually had consecutive sun, I spent all day yesterday cleaning up the side of the house where all our projects are and where we build all our projects, and I ended up getting a little bit sunburned. So I quickly threw some sunscreen on and then made sure to put a hat on, but I definitely probably got a little bit darker in the last couple days. <laughs> but anyways, I wanted to catch you guys up. Hopefully that covers a little bit and hopefully it gives you a couple tips. Like I said, use a reminder app, literally just write down. And what I've learned is if you just do like a brain dump and you if you really can't keep track of like a reminder app, just get a note or a piece of paper. If you really can't do it on a virtual app, just get a piece of paper and do a brain dump. Literally dump everything that's in your brain, even if it's not a to-do. So like, I think this guy is pretty. Just write it down and then from there you can literally cross it off, delete it, or organize it as you go to get those things that you feel overwhelmed with organized and situated so that you see that you really do have full control of what you have going on in your life. So that has been one of the best things that has kept us on schedule and working really hard this spring. So I hope that gives you a couple of tips and tricks. Definitely brain dump everything in your brain and that way you can get rid of anything that is not necessarily important to have and it's just something that's just taking up space in your brain. And then second, get a to-do list. I personally do the virtual one just because I don't have to actually cross it off, but there's so much satisfaction in writing your to-do list, putting it on the fridge or just putting it in a notebook inside your purse or your pocket for men, and then crossing it off really does. I don't know what it does, but it really does like make, it really does give me so much satisfaction crossing off items. And on the reminder app, I can actually click on tasks that have been completed and then I can scroll through those. I hope that helps a little bit. I hope you guys had a great weekend and a great Mother's Day and I hope you guys have started having a good week. If you're already overwhelmed this week, like I said, organize some of your actual to-dos that you need to prioritize on a reminder app or again, on a to-do list. I'm going to head off and do the next thing on my to-do list. I think we will be moving these tables out of the backyard and organizing this middle area right here. So I hope you guys have a great week and I'll see you in the next Frabby Farm episode where you get to see our exciting week this week and get a feeling of our vlog actually shifting into a warm spring slash summer feeling. I'll see you guys later and thank you for watching.